Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add a gradient fade to your tones. So I've done a video on uh, how to use tones. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can watch that video. But basically tones are these little dots that people use in comic books and in manga to uh, just to add some um, shading or a different color or whatever so but what I wanted to show you guys is I wanted to add a gradient fade so that these dots look like um, they're fading now usually what people do is they grab the eraser put it on maybe soft erase and they'll do this number right or they'll go to this uh, gradient tool here and they'll choose gradient erase and they'll do this to give it a more even uh, erasing effect but what you'll notice is that the dots in the top these black dots are the same size as these uh, faded dots down here at the bottom and what I want to do is I want these black dots at the very top to be this size but I want as it fades down I want the dots to kinda like disappear so how do we do that okay so when you add your tone um, right here on the right hand side you'll see this 3d cube if you click that and then you come over here to your left hand side this uh, option here where it says fill settings what you want to do is click the gradient and there it is now this dot here allows you to control how how much of the fade um, and also the angle of how you want it to fade and then of course the cross up here is the center of the fade so if you wanted to flip it upside down you can just simply move the cross down here at the bottom and flip the line upside down so that you can have your fade go upside down right? and then of course any angle you want and you can do this um, you can even change the color uh, so right now by default this is uh, the color it gives you this gray but if you want if you change it to a uh, a darker color you can make it darker um, it seems to be monotone so even if you choose red it's just gonna make it black so you can go really dark black or if you make it lighter and lighter it'll get uh, smaller so that's how you can control the size of the dots because it's not like the regular tone so if you if you go back to the fill setting and you click the the other button which is fill you come back here and you can manipulate the size of the dots by f doing the frequency or the density um, again oh if you flip back back here on the right hand side it says use brightness of image change that back to use color of image um, no use specific density that way you can uh, change the size of the dots um, again I'll leave a link in the description on how to use the tones uh, but uh, again, if you want a great a fade, a gradient fade, um, instead of erasing, uh, use this 3D box and then change the setting here on fill setting to gradient. And again, uh, but like I said, the only options you get is is a monochrome. I haven't seen any place to change the color. So um, the darker you get, the bigger the dots are the lighter you get the smaller the dots alright so I hope this was helpful um, if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing I make clip studio paint tutorial videos like this one if you got any questions leave them down in the comment section if I can't answer them in the comment section um, I'll make a video of it so that uh, everyone can learn from your question and again I uh, hope you guys learned something and I will see you guys in the next one